and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, another viewer-inspired video. This one was inspired by Channel The Spirit, and um, who asked, what does it mean when there's water droplets on the leaves? So um, I had answered that on another video uh, briefly, but when I did so, I thought this would make a really good um, video to delve into a little bit further. So water droplets on the leaves. If you've ever seen water droplets on your leaves of your plants, <clears throat> and it's not from you just having watered them and they're wet, uh, but all of a sudden you see water is coming out and a lot of times it'll come out of the, ed the edges, around the edges, it'll be around the edges a lot. Uh, it may be dripping off the, the point of the plant, like the, the very point like on here, on this pothos. Pothos um, do, uh, do this uh, fairly often. Uh, unfortunately, this one isn't doing it right now to show you, but you, it, it looks like the, the, the leaf has just suddenly sprung a leak, sort of, so to speak. Uh, it will, you'll get droplets, like I said, um, on the edges, definitely on the tip. They, it may drop water onto the ground or onto the table or surrounding area a little bit. Just a lot of glistening uh, water droplets on there. I'm going to show you right now a photo of one that is, um, that is doing this so you can see what it looks like. Uh, so you can see that. Okay, so what is that? What is happening when this, when this occurs? It is known as guttation. So guttation, uh, that's what this, uh, this phenomenon is. It is not a bad thing at all. So what happens is um, with this process known as gut guttation, it, it, and it isn't dew. So where you see dew outdoors, that occurs outdoors. A lot of times in the morning hours, you'll see liquid accumulated on leaves. That is dew, it is not, but it's not the same as guttation. Now guttation actually occurs indoors on your house plants. And where the liquid is coming from is actually coming from the inside of the plant. And it's being secreted through the plant's pores. And those plant pores are known as stomata. And I do have a video on stomata and what stomata is. And those are the breathing pores of the plants. They generally, uh, a lot of times occur underneath, but they will, there, there are also some on the top of leaves as well. And so what is occurring with this is that as mentioned, the liquid is coming from the inside of the leaf and basically like the, like the leaf is sweating uh, uh, with these, um, with these mo water molecules on it. So the, uh, and this occurs, as mentioned, it's a, it's a normal process. It can occur a little more often after you've watered because the plant is more turgid with, uh, with water. It often, generally speaking, happens at night or in the very early morning hours, but a lot of times at night when the air is humid, the soil is more damp, and the roots are absorbing water at that time. They also absorb water at that time. They slow down, but they still do absorb some water. So as the extra water goes through um, the, the leaves, uh, through the system of the plant, then the guttation can occur. And as the cutation occurs, um, it picks up various uh, things like enzyme, minerals, and other chemicals um, that is actually called then xylem sap. So that, can, that, um, that is the actual name of the water droplets that you see forming on the leaves. It's xylem sap. So 
The, um, and, I, and you've heard me mention transpiration. That is when the plant is breathing. So there is a difference between transpiration and guttation. Transpiration is the evaporation of water into the air through the pores of the plant during the day. So it's like the, the plant is exhaling moisture. Guttation, as mentioned, occurs at night and it's a plant's means of getting rid of excess moisture that it has absorbed during the day. As mentioned, like the plant is sweating it out. So guttation, if you see it on your plants, especially at night, you, you'll know what it is. As mentioned, it can happen after you watered, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have overwatered. A lot of people will think, oh my gosh, I must have overwatered, my plant can't take it, it's spewing out extra water. And that's not generally the case. Um, it's usually, the, what is usually the case is that the plant is, is a perfectly healthy plant and it's just doing what it naturally would do uh, out in, in, in the, in, in the uh, tropic, in tropical locales like the floors of the jungle when met, where many of these plants are uh, natural are, are from are, and naturally grow. So guttation is um, not harmful, generally speaking. The only time it could be a little harmful is if you've been over fertilizing the plant because what will happen when it when the guttation occurs is as mentioned it is water coming liquid liquid the xylem coming from the inside out and if it's full of a lot of extra nutrients from fertilizer that can build up over time on the leaves and cause some leaf burn especially leaf tip burn so um, also another indication of that is if you see small white deposits on your leaf tips, then that could be that the, there's a, a, the salt buildup from the fertilizer occurring when the plant has some guttation and then it's congregating on the leaf tips. So if you notice that, then that means that it's time to pull back on fertilizer. It's also probably a good idea to leach the plant. I have a video on leaching the plant, which means basically washing the soil so washing the salts because it's the salts and the fertilizer that and, and the mineral salts and other minerals and salt is a mineral that build up on the leaf tips from the fertilizer and fertilizers are high in in salts so something else to keep in mind if you if you ever see that on your leaf tips but as mentioned if you see the gutation it is just a very cool process that the plant goes through, very natural, take a picture of it, uh, show, show somebody if they're there, and, and, and impress them with the fact that you know that that is guttation occurring on your house plant. So there you go for the answer to what do those little water droplets on the leaves mean? Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.